Gigi in Torrance. Hi, Gigi. Hi, Leo. This is Gigi. Nice to talk to you. Thank you. I just got a new uh, HP PC, and it has about two terabytes in it, and I loaded in Adobe Photoshop 7, and now it's telling me could not initialize Photoshop because the scratch disks are full. <laughs> well, are you sure it has two terabytes? I would check. That's an awfully big hard drive. Is it a desktop or a laptop? Desktop. Oh, okay. Well, maybe with a desktop, that's... Yeah. Yeah, so what you want to do is go into... So the way Photoshop works, uh, and this is unusual, most programs don't do this, but it's due to the huge memory demands of Photoshop, it creates something called scratch disks. Mm -hmm. These are temporary storage areas, and it uses them so it can manage files that are bigger than available memory. Um, the default choices for the scratch disk may be the wrong choices in your case. You may have, for instance, a small... Is it all one big drive, or do you have different partitions on the drive? It's all one big drive. Hmm. It, it may be pointing to the wrong place. You can go into the photo... So you can't finish the installation, though. Apparently not. I can't Yikes. get into it. It won't open, and I've checked everywhere, and I've done some research, research online, but there's all different uh, opinions on well, it. Well, see, normally you can, if you can get it running... You can change the location of the scratch disks, and you probably mm -hmm. want to, you would want it to point to your main big drive. Mm -hmm. I presume that there's plenty of space in your drive, right? Right. Have you looked to see? Yes, it, it's, it's barely. You yeah, it should be bare. It should be barely full. Uh -huh. Oh. Yeah, so that's uh, crazy. I'm not sure uh, exactly what happened here. Um, you should be able to. You know, I should get Bert Monroy in here. Can you, can you bring Bert in here? I have, it's kind of ironic. Come here for a second, Bert. Bert Monroy, who is the world's premier Photoshop artist. Mm. I mean, the guy, he does this incredible show on lynda.com. Bert, we got a question. Yeah. And I thought if anybody could, I feel like Woody Allen. Marsha McLuhan's right here. Let me just pull him in. If anybody could solve this, she installed Photoshop on a brand new two terabyte hard drive, Bert, and she can't get it to run. She can't even get it to finish the install because it says the scratch disks are full. The scratch disks are full? Yeah, now normally you can go into the settings and point the scratch disks anywhere, but I would think on install it would point to a normal now, place. She does have her uh, internet up and running, right? Your internet's up and running, right? I mean, you yeah. do need to, to activate it, right? Is yeah. That, yeah. Yeah. Are you, do you have a Creative Cloud subscription? No. Nope. You no. bought the standalone Photoshop. Oh, the standalone. Right. Where'd you get that? <laughs> <laughs> well, I had it from my old computer. Left over, yeah, because uh, it was running just fine. How did you? Me. Oh, now I got a question. Did you have the uh, original install discs, or are you trying to copy it over from your old computer? No, I have the original disc. Okay, because that's one problem. Sometimes people say, oh, I have, it's all on my old computer. I'll just copy the program over, mm -hmm. and you can't do that. You have to do a full install. It also so, has a limited install. So, so you have, what version of Photoshop is it? Seven. 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 Mm -hmm. <laughs> Bert's going, seven? <laughs> that's, that's a few generations ago, isn't it, Bert? Yeah. <laughs> that's quite a few. But, you know, good for it her. Should still run. It, it should still run, run just yeah. fine. Yeah. But being uh, being seven before they even uh, then you don't have to worry about Creative Cloud, but no. seven uh, might have some problems with some of the new operations. Maybe it's that just it doesn't it. like. Is it Windows eight you're using? Seven. Seven. It okay. should be all right on Windows seven. On Windows seven, it should be all right. Yeah. yeah. It's it's uh, hmm. you know it's it's probably like doing something weird like saying oh I want to use the D drive for Scratch and that's a. 64 kilobyte drive that this yeah. HP set up or something like that. That's such an old operating... How uh, could she set up the thing to change the default scratch to point to C? Or? Well, if she can't even install it, she can't do any of that. Yeah. Because you have to have it installed to get into the right. references for Photoshop. Wait a minute. Look at this. Here's a... Boy, the chat room to the rescue. Uh-huh. Bert Monroy, by the way, what do you... You got a new painting? You got something new you're yeah, doing? Yeah, I'm going to unveil it here today. Oh, this is exciting. <laughs> this will be a little later on on the uh, podcast. Photoshop... Here, I found something for you. Look at this. Uh, thank you, chat room. This is at Photoshop.com. Photoshop 7, installing on the new Win 7 HP... Gives a scratch disk error message. That's exactly what you had, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm going crazy to figure this out, says Joe. I have read dozens of forums and info sites. 
It says, uh, oh, Photoshop 7 was written before Windows could handle these large multi-terabyte drives. So the problem is their drive is too big. <laughs> Can you believe that? Your drive is too big. And Photoshop saying, well, there, I've never heard of a two or three terabyte drive. She's crazy. That's probably a little tiny drive. Um, nobody has a solution, it looks like, on the site except to try installing it on a, on a small drive or make a smaller, this is what I would do, make a smaller partition on that big drive. Okay, how do I do that? Well, let's see. I only have a few hours. Um, <laughs> that's what it is. It's such a big drive. It's confusing it. Um, so what you can do is you can use the disk manager uh, utility to create a new small partition. And the way you do that is you right-click on my computer, you select properties, uh, and you want to you want to get the um, the uh, co management console running. And in there, there's uh, disk management, and in that you can resize the partitions. And what you what you might want to do is just create. I would make a small like 500 gigabyte partition, uh -huh. uh, and and or even 250 gigabytes, which would be plenty. And what that would let you do is install Photoshop and then readjust uh, where the other stuff is. But will it walk me through? And I'm and uh, I won't walk you through nothing. It's hard. It's <laughs> 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 and by the way, just to make you even more confident, uh, you could easily destroy the entire hard drive so okay. that you'd have to reinstall. <laughs> so be careful. Yeah. Mm. All right. uh, let's see. Uh, you know, you could get the new Photoshop. I was strong. Maybe suggested. maybe that was the now here's the deal. This is the one I do is the they have a Photoshop deal for photographers. It's Photoshop and Lightroom for $9 ten nine ninety nine, ten dollars a month. $10. And it's the new Photoshop. What version are we at now? Uh well two fifteen comes out next week. Two twenty fifteen. Twenty fifteen, which yeah. is the equivalent of Photoshop uh, ten? Eleven? It's, it's a mu much improved. Bert's doing math. That's how yeah, much improved. About, uh, 14. <laughs> 14, he says. <laughs> so you'll double the Photoshop. It'll be twice as, you know, that for 10 bucks a month. It's, the, the big problem is, and I think this is exactly right, it's the drive is too big. Photoshop doesn't know about big drives like that. But if I partition it, it might go? Well, it'll trick it because it'll think it's on a small drive. Hmm. Okay. But it won't. But then it's still going to have problems because it won't see anything on the big drive. You can't put your scratch disks on the big drive. Sometimes, you know, you got to upgrade. I hate to say it, <laughs> but ten bucks a month—that's yeah. what I do. Or, or get an old copy of, of CC up to C, uh, CS6. CS. Before the CCs up to CS6. Well, she's got CS7, to... right? No, she's got seven, she said. Seven? That's before CS. That's, be that's the last one before the CS, because <laughs> eight was the first CS. You see why we need Bert? <laughs> Bert, was, Bert used Photoshop before it was a product. He wrote the first book on Photoshop. Yeah, long time you, ago. you just happen to have the Photoshop expert here, yeah. and he, even he's baffled. But there's, I, I think we've tracked it down, and I think really you have such an old version you have to update it. So, I'm sorry to give you the bad news. Thank you, Bert Monroy, Leo Laporte, the tech guy. Isn't that great?